today we will start the next chapter integers the positive numbers 1 2 3 4 4 and the corresponding negative numbers minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 together with 0 are called as integers therefore integers is the combination of all the positive numbers all the negative numbers along with 0 as you can see if we keep zero as the center so from here one and minus one both are opposite to each other similarly two and minus two are also opposite to each other therefore integers also show the opposite numbers here one minus one two minus two and so on these all are the pair of opposite numbers now let's find the opposite of the given numbers first number is minus 10 so the opposite of minus 10 will be plus 10 next number is 459 now this is a positive number so opposite of 459 is minus 459 similarly opposite of 115 is minus 115 and opposite of minus 2058 is 2058 when we compare integers we have to see that numbers which are on the left side are always smaller than the numbers which are on the right side that which means that when we move in the right direction we will get greater numbers while if we move in the left direction the numbers will be smaller ones so as you can see 2 is in the right of 1 and 2 is greater than 1 similarly 3 is on the right of 2 and 3 is greater than 2 come to the negative integers now here minus 1 is on the right of minus 2 which means minus 1 is greater than minus 2 similarly minus 2 is on the right of minus 3 therefore minus 2 is greater than minus 3 so we can say that a positive integer is always greater than the negative integer because we have all the positive integer on the right side of negative integer so positive integer will always be greater than negative integer which means if we have minus 99 and 1 so in this case 1 will be greater than minus 99 because 1 is a positive integer while minus 99 is a negative integer second thing all the negative integers are less than 0 as you can see 0 is in the right side of all negative integer all the negative integer are on the left of 0 so all negative integers are less than 0 so minus 100 will be less than 0 minus 215 will be less than 0 so whenever we have a negative integer that will always be less than 0 any number to the right of 0 gets bigger and bigger as you move to the right on the number line so you can see 1 is greater than 0 2 is greater than 1 3 is greater than 2 4 is greater than 3 in the same way as we are moving towards the right the numbers are increasing continuously and on the left of the 0 when we are moving towards the left then the numbers are getting smaller so you can see that in negative integer minus 1 is the biggest negative integer so when we move towards the left side the numbers will be decreasing which means here that minus 9 is less than minus 8 
minus 8 is less than minus 7 and so on. So if you have to compare to negative integer like if you have 153 and minus 148. So if you have to compare these two integers both are negative integers. The one with less value will be the greater one because that will be written on the right side of the one which is having bigger value. So in negative integer always we have to see that if two negative integers are given to us always the smaller one the one which is having the value the number smaller will be the greater one. The next question is write the next number. We know the next number is always greater than the previous one and it is on the right side of the previous number. So the next number to 10 will be 11. For 981 next number will be 982. So these are the positive numbers. Now the next number is a negative one minus 102. We just studied that in negative integers we have the one numbers smaller one written on the right side of the bigger one. Here minus 1 is written on the right side of minus 2 and minus 1 is greater than minus 2. So if we have to find the next number of minus 102 that will be minus 101. Similarly for minus 981, the next number will be minus 980. In the next question, we have to arrange the integers in both ascending and descending order. So let us first arrange these integers in ascending order. For arranging them in ascending order, we have to write the smallest integer first. As you can see, we have three negative integers here, minus 35, minus 61 and minus 158. One minus 158 will be the smallest integer. So write this number first. After that, the next integer will be minus 61, then minus 35. After that, come to the positive one, this is 32 but we have 0 also. So 0 will come before the positive integer and then the biggest one will be 32. To arrange them in descending order we will write them from biggest to smallest. So biggest is 32. After that we have 0 then minus 35 then minus 61 and after that minus 158 in the next question we have minus 235 minus 236 minus 430 and minus 431 as negative integers so the smallest number will be minus 431 after that we will have minus 430 then minus 236 and after that minus 235 then we have one positive integer that is 78 which will be the biggest one now arrange them in descending order so 78 is the biggest one then we have minus 235, then minus 236, then minus 430 and after that minus 431. Absolute value of integers. The numerical value of an integer regardless of its sign is called the absolute value of integer. We know that we have positive integers 2, 3, 4, 5 and so on and negative integers also minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, minus 5 and so on. So absolute value of integer 
are the numerical values of integer where we do not consider any sign that means if we have to find out the absolute value of minus 2 that will be 2 only we will not consider sign here absolute value is represented by this symbol so if we have to find out absolute value of any number say minus 9 we will put them be between these two bars this will give us the absolute value of minus 9 that will be equals to 9 so for absolute value we do not consider any positive or negative sign only numerical value is required now let us find the absolute value of given number so first number is 213 we have to find absolute value of 213 this will be equals to 213 only then next is minus 2089 so absolute value of minus 2089 will be equals to 2089 for 761 absolute value will be equals to 761 and the last one that is minus 1 absolute value is equals to 1 while adding positive integers on the number line move to the right and while adding a negative integer move to the left that means whenever we add integers if the integer is positive we have to move in the right direction but if the integer is negative then we have to move in left direction so if the question is 5 plus minus 3 so as you can see here we have 5 as a positive integer and minus 3 is a negative integer so we will start from 0 go to 5 we are moving in the right direction we have moved in the right direction and reached 5 now the next integer is minus 3 we have to add minus 3 in 5 so this is a negative integer which means we have to return back in the left direction three positions so one two and three when we will jump three places in the left side we will reach two which means the answer is two therefore five plus minus three is equals to plus two in this way we can add two integers now let us do some question based on addition of integer first one is 4 plus 8 as you can see we have both the integers as positive integers that means we have to move in the right side only on number line so we will always start from 0 from 0 firstly we have to move four places in the right side so from 0 come to 4 this is plus 4 now we are on 4 and we have to make, take 8 more steps in the right direction so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 which means we have to come to 12 so from 4 we will jump on 12 this is plus 8 which means 4 plus 8 is equals to 12. Now next question is minus 2 plus 9. Here we have one negative integer and one positive integer. So minus 2 is negative. So we will first move in the left side on the number line. So from 0 move 2 places in the left side and reach minus 2. This is minus 2. Now we are on minus 2 and we have to take 9 steps in the positive direction that is in the right side. So we are here on minus 2 take 9 steps in the right side 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9 which means we have to reach here on 7 
so from minus 2 we will jump on 7 this is plus 9 so the answer is 7 minus 2 plus 9 is equals to 7 next question is minus 6 plus minus 5 as you can see here we have both negative integers that means we have to move on the left side in number line so from 0 firstly we will move 6 places on the left side so from 0 reach minus 6 and now we have to take 5 more steps in the left side only so from 6 we have to take 5 more steps that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That means we have to jump on minus 11. From minus 6 jump on minus 11. This will be minus 6 plus minus 5 is equals to minus 11. In the next part 6 plus minus 10. One number is positive, 6 is positive and minus 10 is negative. So firstly we will take 6 steps at the right side. From 0 jump on 6. This is plus 6. Now from 6 we have to take 10 steps in the left side on number line. So move towards left. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So from 6 we will go to minus 4. Here we have to jump on minus 4 from 6. So come to minus 4. Therefore plus 6 plus minus 10 is equals to minus 4. As subtraction is the inverse of addition. So subtracting an integer is same as adding its opposite. Therefore if we have to subtract an integer from the given integer then what we have to do we have to change the subtraction to addition and write the opposite of this number. So here the given number which is to be subtracted is minus 7. So we have to write the opposite of minus 7 that is plus 7 and change this negative sign to positive 1. So whenever we have any number like minus 9 minus minus 7 then what we will do we will take these two symbols that is 2 minus symbol and we will convert them into positive 1 and write 7 as a positive number and now we can add them in the same way we did the previous questions. Now let us do some question based on subtraction of integer first is 9 minus 5 so we have to subtract 5 from 9 first one this 9 is positive and 5 is negative so what we have to do firstly we will move 9 steps in the right side from 0 we will reach 9 this is plus 9 now we have to subtract 5 from it that means we have to come in the left side that is 5 steps so 1 2, 3, 4 and 5. That means we have to jump on 4. So from 9 jump on 4. This is minus 5. So 9 minus 5 is equals to 4. Next is minus 8 minus 7. Both the integers are negative which means we have to move on the left side only on number line. Firstly, from 0, we will move 8 steps in the left side. So, 0, jump on minus 8. Now, from this minus 8, again we have to take 7 steps in the left side. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 
that means we have to reach minus 15 from minus 8 jump on minus 15 minus 8 minus 7 is equals to minus 15 next question is 12 minus minus 3 so we can also write it as 12 and this minus and minus will be converted into plus and 3 that is opposite of minus 3 this will be plus 3 now we have both the positive numbers so from 0 we will move 12 places on the right side so jump to 12 this is plus 12 now again we have to move three places in the right direction so 1 2 and 3 now we have to jump on 15 which means that 12 plus 3 is equals to 15 next part is minus 5 minus minus 9 so again minus 5 will be written as it is this minus and minus will be converted to plus and 9 will come as the opposite of minus 9. Now first integer is negative and second integer is positive. So from 0 we will take 5 steps in the left side. So from 0 reach minus 5. Now we are here on minus 5 and we have to move 9 steps in the right side so move 9 steps in the right side 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 which means we have to jump on 4 so from minus 5 jump on 4 this is plus 9 and minus 5 plus 9 is equals to 4 